Hello guys and welcome back I'm Morphin and you're watching my Rome 2 campaign playing Germanic tribes of Suebi my raging boars that's the name of my quite experienced army led by Chokodar, my faction leader and supported by Karl his reinforcements the army the consorts of Frigia they are leading two armies for the battle in the battle for Noria wow what an intro <laughs> all right let's attack I will control the large army one more time have letters four actually four of them and uh, I am quite outnumbering my opponent so I'm sure you will one more time see an epic battle between two barbarian tribes we finally have first real siege battle I'm attacking the real fort with the walls and as always we'll try to make it epic and this is actually one thing that I really really like in Rome 2 and it is it has never been better than it is now and I am talking about siege battles those towns can be really huge and uh, really interesting to take over but uh, I think that there is still more room for improvement uh, to be precise sometimes it's very hard to navigate your army in between those buildings you do not have enough space to position your troops properly but uh, really really huge improvement and siege battles are finally finally so large and uh, can be quite epic and I really 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 like it. I really like them my reinforcements coming from this direction so left of my current position let's check out the entering maybe this part will be easiest to break you have a lot of hills over here so no I definitely do not want to attack from this direction maybe maybe I can use this tree cover as a protection that's also an val valuable option but uh, I have a I have a more skirmishers than my opponent have and what I have realized from from current from, from, from those battles that I have encountered until now is that skirmishers are finally again they are finally important in uh, Shogun 2 they was quite good and strong but later they got nerfed so in the multiplayer battles in the last few let's say years uh, they, they, there were an armies with almost no any kind of skirmish troops so you could only see a sword units spear units and cavalry so no skirmishers in Shogun 2 at all but uh, now now you can finally do some quite overpowered builds with skirmishing armies I must admit that I'm not so engaged in a multiplayer of Rome 2 I think I have played only one one or two battles and somehow I just don't like it maybe now it's better after 12 or 13 patches maybe now it's better but uh, somehow I do not consider this to be a multiplayer game for me it's a, it's a more single player than multiplayer while Shogun 2 was definitely my top favorite Total War game of all time and uh, you could enjoy in multiplayer as much as in single player campaigns 
let's wait for my reinforcement. I don't know why, but I feel a slight lag. Oh, it's ev it's everything fine right now. Our reinforcements have arrived. Uh, I will wait for my reinforcements to get closer. We'll try to reorganize my unit cards a little bit because I really do not like how they all got messed up. So I will see you in a few moments. Uh, by the way, I must say that uh, I'm planning to buy a new graphic card and will probably upgrade my RAM memory. Because when recording with fraps, your frames per seconds can go really, really low. And that is actually what I'm encountering now. And what, ha what I have noticed is that uh, frame drop is happening only on siege battles and only when I'm recording. Alright, I will stop recording now, merge all my units, set up formation and I will see you in a few moments. And here comes the action. First thing, I have started to send my Spear Levies, the most cheapest unit I have. Four of them are pushing the ladders and behind them I have quite a lot of them. In a second line, ready to climb up the ladders and take over the enemy skirmishers on the wall. Behind them are my skirmishers. Since enemy have uh, cover from these walls, it will be very hard for my skirmishers to hit them. And they did uh, not so well, not so well in this battle. I thought they will do much better job, but uh, damage they did to an enemy unit was quite insignificant. You can see that my slingers start to shoot and those Celtic skirmishers on the wall are not damaged at all, full strength. Currently they lost only one unit in a, such a huge shootout. Enemy cavalry is just behind the walls. I will try to hit them, but uh, my main point of, of attack, the Schwerpunkt, how Germans uh, would call it, my Schwerpunkt, my point of focus is the left side of the wall. I'm sending few guys on the right just to stop the enemy skirmishers from shooting and trying to minimize the friendly fire. I will focus my skirmishers to shoot at this big blob of the units on the left. I'm sending one unit of spear levies to capture this archery tower and soon it will be under my control. Big blob of units, uh, one mistake that I did, I should probably bring more ladders 
so more units can climb up the wall at the same time but I didn't want to wait a few turns to build up those siege engines I wanted to attack the fort immediately so all I have is four ladders trying to climb up the wall my best units are on the left side my two generals and spear brothers are on left side because over here we do not have a, such a we do not have opponents at all so I will send my cheapest units to pin down the enemy try to hold them in place while I'm trying to flank them with my top class units trying to go behind and hit them in the backs and that way my expensive units will take less damage you can see that although I am recording from the replay we can see a slightly lag and you can imagine what was happening to me in a, in a live game I was lagging so much it was really hard to give orders to my units and I'm sure I could perform much better if my game could run smoothly but I have noticed that in a siege battles only in siege battles I have a lag problems so I will try to buy a new graphic card uh, currently I have NVIDIA GTX 460 with 1 gigabyte of RAM I will try to, to get better graphic cards I had a, I had, I had a, a quite expensive investments. I had to buy some new parts for my car since I'm going on a vacation. I will be gone for one week, and I took a 400 kilometers trip to the coast of Adriatic Sea, and that's the main reason I had to invest. In, uh, in some parts of my car it was quite expensive so I couldn't allow myself to buy a new graphic card but uh, in a few months I will definitely get it and I will try to upgrade my RAM currently I have uh, only 4 gigabytes of RAM we'll try to push that over 8 but uh, we'll see about it. I think that 8 gigabytes of RAM are quite enough for me at this moment. Uh, my archery tower now, now is under my control, is shooting straight into the backs of the enemy units. You know that uh, it is quite hard to kill enemy with arrows if you are shooting them from the front. You always wanted to hit them at the flanks at the sides where they do not have shields to protect them so in the back they have least protection especially those kind of units that do not have a, so much armor you can see that those are almost naked and all protection they have are those shields that can protect them from the arrow fire uh, I will also try to put uh, one part of my Germanic Utes on side, I'm not sure. But flanking with the Germanic Utes, flanking with um, low range missile units is um, actually quite good tactics. You can pin down the enemy with your spears and melee infantry while uh, you are moving your low range missile units on the sides and trying to shoot them the only problem is enemy cavalry if enemy do have a cavalry unit then you really must be careful what you are doing and always try to keep the enemy in place try to hold him in a one position so you can move your skirmishers around and it's a quite good tactics actually uh, a new new tactic that i have started to deploying and work around and it's actually flanking with skirmishers try it guys it's quite useful especially if you have flaming arrows with flaming arrows you will lower the enemy morale while on the other side you will not deal any kind of friendly fire because they are on the opposite side until now i was always flanking with cavalry or with uh, with, with sword units but now I'm trying to, to make a different tactics. Spears goes in front to pin down the enemy unit. You can even move some cavalry and um, sword or axe warriors on the flank to keep the flank to keep the enemy safe. 
so he cannot move and move your skirmishers behind him try that guys it's quite useful especially if you have flaming arrows by the way those lagging this lagging is killing me the the only big problem for me was those celtic skirmishers from my opponent and i think that they have um, some some slingers i'm really not sure because from here look at this they are shooting straight into my flanking force straight to, straight into the backs of them and i have realized that i'm trying to push you can see how i'm positioning my guys uh, the middle over here is completely routed you can only see my units now and what i'm trying to do is to position my melee infantry uh, to confront the enemy skirmishers uh, I will try to put them in a position and enable a shield wall that way they will be protected because now they're quite vulnerable against enemy arrow fire they have a low armor and the only protection they have are shields but since I was lagging quite a lot it was hard for me even to use the unit abilities like a shield wall you will see how slow it will go I'm using counter cavalry tactics over here because uh, there is a still one unit of noble horse and standing quite well I wonder how many kills they did let's check it out oh, they're, 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 they routed I cannot check it out enemy general is also falling down you can see that I am deploying a shield wall and I, I, I wasn't able to do it with all units at, at once only because of the lag so I was deploying a shield wall on units one by one that way they have a protection from enemy archers and you may ask yourself why I didn't rush them why I didn't attack them they are in a skirmish mode so they are running away they are much faster than my spear infantry so they are able to run away from me and drag me into a position where they have archery towers you can see that we have a one over here one over here one over here quite a lot of archery towers from my enemy and i didn't want to chase enemy skirmishers into a trap where i will lose even most men so i'm positioning all my melee infantry into a tight formation with a shield wall so they can protect them and we'll try to use my own germanic slingers and my own germanic youths to shoot them down and get rid of them while on the other side i will send one cheap unit of spear levies to capture the victory point and trying to win the battle that way all the enemy units are now gone and only problem i have are those celtic skirmishers as i said i do not want to chase them because they are faster than me and they will only drag me into a trap of archery towers that they have in the background spear brothers are still on safe in a background that's the main reason I keep them behind I didn't want them to take the damage they was only a reserve unit you can see that this unit do not have a shield wall enabled yet that's because I was lagging only two units have a shield wall now you can see that by this green green circle around them shield screen over here so they are protected but you can see that i have lost quite a lot of men you will see at the end of the battle that i'm not sure how much i lost but i think around 400 men is gone i'm really not sure i forget how many actually lag was the only problem i had i think that victory point is now under my control and all i need to do is wait for a countdown timer to go to zero those guys probably ran out of ammunition and trying to chase them one mistake I did and uh, one thing that I could do and I will do it but too late I'm doing it now I 
think I'm doing it now. Yeah. I'm sending one cheap units of spear levy to chase down the enemy skirmishers. You can see that they are in a skirmish mode. That way they are starting to run. And when they are running they cannot shoot. So my guys are safe. Quite good trick and I'm risking only one unit. I could do I should do that much earlier. So send one unit of one cheap unit, one cheap melee unit to chase down the enemy skirmishers. That way they will try to pull back and uh, they will be vulnerable to your to your skirmishers since they have a low armor and their backs are quite vulnerable to the archers. They will die much faster and they will rout much faster. While on the other side they cannot damage your guys because they are running away. That's it guys. Uh, feel free to continue the watching. Uh, the recording after this replay is quite short so you probably have uh, three or four minutes of watching and that's it that's it see you on a campaign map guys bye bye i hope you have enjoyed the replay i have just saved it was impossible for me to record live since i was lagging really really a lot and the only option was to save the replay and later record it i'm not sure will i lag i mean you already have watched the replay but at this moment i'm not sure how the replay will react when i start recording it i hope that uh, you just saw a nice battle without lagging it was quite fun for me and I hope it was fun for you watching it. Uh, if it was, please press the like button down below. Post a comment if you have anything to say. And until the next time, I wish you all the best. And bye bye. Warriors all!